we often find ourselves in Goa's beautiful capital Panjim for some work, some shopping or to meet up with friends. Recently we found a new cafe and co-working space while looking for a place to grab a bite and rest between numerous appointments. Jambul Cafe is located in the heart of Panjim's heritage precinct. Just a hop away from Kampal and a short walk from Panjim Church. To get there from the new Pato Bridge side, turn off Kampal after Mermaid Garden. Then turn right after the Goa State Museum in Izal Sao Palace and immediately left onto MG Road. Jambul Cafe is on the right, bang next to the excise office and opposite Cluba Nacional. At the very entrance, we are struck by the decor. Up the stairs is a welcoming bunch of eponymous jambuls. They have a map. How new is this place? Just two months. Oh wow. Very nice. Very, very good location. This first table looks inviting, but there's a lot of sound from the traffic outside that elegant window. That far table in the corner of this large hall looks much more inviting. This table also has a lovely window with a view of the adjacent heritage buildings. There's Kluber Nacional right opposite. And there's the sprawling Mamai Kamat mansion. There are plenty of tables to fit all sizes, whether a party of one working quietly or a group brainstorming over coffee and pizza. But whichever table you choose, you'll never have difficulty finding a plug point. Very nice the wall arts. I love how he has done around the lights around. Very stylish place. These artworks are emblematic of the entertaining design work all over this cafe. To take it all in, you'll have to look upwards too. Even the restroom area has been gorgeously painted. I like the way he incorporates the fittings in order. It's almost like part of the yeah. art. Beautiful. Some of these artworks were made by visiting artists and some by the owner's friends. This particular collection of drawings were made by customers of all ages. It's troubling that our state capital's beautiful riverfront promenade has now become associated with casinos in the minds of children. All this art gazing has made us more hungry. It's time to eat something. As it was a hot day, we had nice chilled mango shakes and kokum masala soda. I actually prefer this. We were told the must try is the 9 inch multigrain pizza, so we ordered the margarita with veggie toppings. Also recommended to try out the Kolkata style millet paratha wraps, millet flour dim sum, whole wheat pastas, and massive sandwiches. We tried the Bombay Masala Sandwich, which was huge and delicious. How's it, Rajiv? Really? Yeah. Why? Very nice flavor of the base, huh? They've done something extra special with their base. Plus, I like lots of cheese on pizza. The cheese should be generous. 
The cheese on the pizza at Jambul is made from camel milk by Bahula Naturals, a sustainable farming and dairying initiative in Bikaner, Rajasthan. Best thing in the world is cheese after fish curry rice. Jambul is the first cafe in Goa to use camel's milk cheese. You can buy Bahula's camel milk ghee and also their cow milk ghee at Jambul. These are right above the dessert counter at the entrance. We wanted to finish with those good-looking tarts and brownies, but inspired by the healthy menu here, we packed some seed crackers to take home instead. One tip, if you are here to get some work done, you may want to ask them to turn down the music volume. Now Jaya is off to meet her friend in San Tome and I am off to 18 June Road. Wish you a lovely day in Panjim.